Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to talk to you guys about Sundial Growers, you know, a penny stock that has been gaining a ton of attention recently because of platforms like Reddit and other similar platforms, I guess. However, today I want to go over recent news that has come out about a potential short squeeze and my thoughts on it, and also the news about states passing legalization bills and why that could be a major catalyst and a step in the right direction for the Sundial stock. But before I begin the video, definitely consider liking and subscribing as it is free and it really helps the channel out. Also, if you're interested, head over to my Patreon where you can join a great community of like-minded investors. And if you join my Patreon, you will have access to my Discord server when it launches in the upcoming days. Also, in the description is a link to sign up to Weeble, where if you sign up with my link, you can get two free stocks worth up to 3,600 US dollars. And after you receive those stocks, you can sell them, you can hold on to them. Basically, it is free money, so check out that link in the description if you're interested in getting two free stocks. Okay, so this is the first, uh, I guess, news you can call it that we will be going over. It's about the short interest in the SNDL stock. Now, if you take a look, this is a screenshot, I believe, from uh, yesterday or two days ago. However, it shows that there were nearly 73 million shares that were in the short volume, and the previous short volume was around 66 million shares. So there's been an increment in the short percentage uh, basically day over day. So I believe sometime earlier this week, it was like 40 something percent and now it's around like 60%. So this has led a lot of people to believe that the shorts will have to cover relatively soon. And on this screenshot shows zero days, but uh, that is not the case at all. I truly do not believe that there will be a short cover relatively soon, maybe in the future, but I do not think that this is a company that you will get a massive short cover like you did with GameStop or AMC because of the daily volume and because of the outstanding shares really. So I do not think that there will be a short cover and if you're interested in the stock only because of that, then I would consider maybe doing more research and seeing if there are other aspects of the company that you like that might lead you to investing in the stock. But if you're just relying on a short cover, please do not as it probably will not happen. So this is the article, I guess you can say, that is the most appealing to me as a potential uh, investor, as it states that the medical cannabis bargaining reputation is a boon for the market's expansion, right? So the article states that the cannabis industry has drastically changed over the course of the last five years. So thanks to shifting consumer sentiments, legislative victories, across several major states and the availability of new products for a wide demographic, the cannabis industry has become a major market attracting investors from all over the world. Slowly, more and more states are implementing legislating to regulate such products. For example, New Jersey voters legalized an adult use marijuana market last year and this week, Governor Phil Murphy finally delivered on a 2017 campaign promise signing legislation that legalizes cannabis for adults, decriminalizes the possession of up to six ounces of the drug, and codifies criminal justice reforms that will upend how police officers interact with underage offenders. Now, this is big news, but it's not going to be an instant catalyst for Sundial growers, right? Just because New Jersey passed, you know, some bill and uh, legalized, you know, the use of marijuana, it's not going to be an instant effect on the stock. However, long term, I think that this is great news as with more and more states legalizing, you know, the use, there will be a better uh, impact on Sundell growers as they will be able to sell more products. Maybe, you know, more products will be sold in general as it will be, you know, more commonly used and, you know, less criminalized, I guess you could say. So long term, this is fantastic. And it's just not just New Jersey that has been legalizing, you know, the use recently. There's also been Minnesota that is also in a similar stage as New Jersey. 
and there are countless other states that are currently in the process. So as the use of marijuana becomes legalized nationwide and more and more states start to legalize it, then I think that will serve as a major catalyst as if basically every state legalizes it, then the profits and you know the amount of products sold from Sundial growers will probably go up and that will make this stock more attractive. So as of this recording, this stock is down 3% for the day. We started off pretty early at around 7% and as of this recording, which is around an hour after a market open, it is down 3%. Now I could see this remaining like this for the rest of the day. I think it'll probably end off the day in the red. If it ends off in the green, that would be phenomenal. But because of the current market conditions and the bearish, uh, I guess, market, um, this stock will probably end off red. Overall, a lot of other penny stocks are in the red today. So that is why I wouldn't be shocked if this one is red as well. But I guess we'll have to wait and see and see when this video goes out if I am accurate. But anyways, let's take a look at the five day chart and you can see that this stock is down around 6% for the past five days, which honestly is not that bad. This market recently then this week in general has been very bearish and very red for a lot of stocks. So the fact that this stock is only down 6% for the past five days is, uh, is actually very good. Maybe some people will not be happy with that and would hope that it was in the green, but listen, a lot of other stocks are basically down 60% for the week. So being down 6% is 10 times less than what other penny stocks and stocks in general are like right now. So overall, this stock has performed pretty well throughout this bearish market. So what are my final thoughts and where do I see this stock heading in the future? Well, I do think that the stock has potential. It's pretty hard to say with companies like these because of how vast and competitive this market is that they are in. So I do think that they have, you know, the space to potentially dominate and do well and, you know, earn a lot of revenue. However, they will have to really be smart with their business moves and, you know, be very strategic. And in terms of the news that has been coming out in terms of legalization, that is very bullish and could be a real game changer for this stock and a lot of stocks similar to this one. I think that as legalization becomes more nationwide and basically every state adopts it, then I believe that this industry could really start to explode, which would definitely help this stock out. So for that reason, I am bullish on the stock and think they have a ton of potential. So that's it for the video, guys. I really hope you liked it and found it informative. Let me know your opinions in the comments below and let me know what stocks I should review next. And I will see you guys soon.